he goes on. He says, husbands, love your wives. Do not embitter, be embittered against them. You don't get to cuss at your wife. You don't get to be abusive, whether verbally or physically or attitudinally. You don't get to be neglectful. You don't get to be, be obstinate. You, you don't get to do this because once you operate outside of God, he won't hear your prayers. 1 Peter 3 verse 7 says, Husbands, treat your wives with equal honor so your prayers are not hindered. So many a man who get on their knees is wasting his time because he wants to be over without willing to be under. Woman, you submit to me while I submit to nobody. Nobody gonna tell me what to do, but I'm gonna tell you what to do. The reason why she's a rebel is she's following a rebel. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 11, 3, every man is to be under Christ's authority. You do not get to be a totally independent male. You are underneath authority, the Bible says. And if Jesus, the man of all man, men, had to be under his father's authority, what makes a man think that he can be independent of Jesus' authority? That makes you a male rebel. It says, let not that man think he will receive anything from the Lord. God's not going to listen to your prayer, and no, he's not going to change your woman. Because you are in rebellion. I am in rebellion when we do not take this biblical posture. Then he comes to parent. He says in verse 21, fathers do not exacerbate your children so that they will lose heart. That's a parent. The reason why he says fathers, by the way, is in the Bible, men, men are supposed to raise the children, not the women. Okay, now I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about the culture. I'm talking about the Bible. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 says fathers raise your children. All the time it's the father who raises the children. Well, you say, well, what's the woman supposed to do? One word, help. She's supposed to fill in the gaps when you can't. But God holds you responsible for the home. You can't be talking about, I'm, I'm the king of this house. And all you do is sleep there. You are responsible for the spiritual imprint of your children. You are responsible for the discipline of your children. You are responsible. Yes, she fills in the gap when you can't. When you're providing, you can't be there. She fills in the gap, but she does not replace. But we have a generation today where daddy is not home or he might as well not be home because he doesn't own this responsibility. He says, do not exasperate your children, but you are to influence them because this is your responsibility as lined up under God. He says in Genesis 18, 19, Abraham, raise your children in righteousness and justice. It's always the father's responsibility. But today we live in a day of male abandonment of the responsibility. And so we have a generation of kids running wild. This is your response. Your responsibility is not first to be happy. Your responsibility first is to be responsible. 